One major lesson I've learned in life is time doesn't stop. The minutes turn into days, the days turn into years, and the years eventually turn into a lifetime. And as the time continues to pass, your dreams never leave you. If you don't chase them and make them real, they're always there, like right there over your shoulder, haunting you. And when they do, you can't help but wonder, what would happen if I let go of all the fear and all the times people said you'll never make it or, you know, you thought to yourself, maybe I'm just not good enough. So you stop trying. What would happen if I just follow my heart? Hey, what's up, guys? This is your girl, Sasha Nicole, and thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of The Sasha Nicole Show. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering why I'm so excited. It's because it's December, which means that Christmas is right around the corner. But first, I mean, this woman needs no introduction. We have the lovely Kat Raquel joining us in the studio today, and we're going to be talking about her new EP, Living Free, and just so much more. So make sure you guys don't go anywhere. It's coming up right now. Welcome back, guys. Joining me on our stage right now, we have the lovely Miss Kat Raquel. Kat Raquel, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. When they told me that you were coming on the show, I was just like, this woman, you speak you speak to me, honestly, with your music. Like, I was listening to your last record, Pushing, mm-hmm. and honestly, I really feel like that's the anthem for the up-and-comers, the grinders, the yes. everyday nine-to-fivers. Yes. Like, it's just like, it's the song is just so uplifting, but it's so real. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. song, I don't know if you guys have listened to it, but take a minute to listen to it if you haven't. Why don't you tell I, the people a little bit about you, mm-hmm. where you started off from, what you're doing now. Just give them a little brief intro. How much time do I have? <laughs> you, girl, you got all the time. You, you got <laughs> okay, so um, I'm a singer-songwriter, signed to BMG Music Publishing. Um, I grew up in Massachusetts. Both my parents were gospel singers. Yes. So that's kind of where the music thing, you know, was kind of instilled in me that way. Right. Because they had me up in church all day and going to choir rehearsal ah. and prayer service. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and they were they, they were a trio in the church, so they would drag me to their rehearsals. Oh, so awesome. Okay. I would be sitting there like, oh, do I have to stay here? But over the years, I realized that, you know, it really helped me and grounded me in you know, music and, and singing. It awesome. was a huge part of why I sing right now. Awesome. So I've been, you know, just working on my music. I'm about to finish up an EP produced by Boo the Future and Grand's Music, who are two really dope producers. Mm-hmm. They've done a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I have some music out there. and We're doing some visuals, and we're just, we're on the grind. You definitely are on, on the, the grind. grind. I mean, it's, well, first of all, it's the Christmas season. Yes. It's my favorite holiday. I mentioned I, that earlier yes. on in the show. <laughs> what are you looking forward to for Christmas? Food. Food? Yes. Okay, your family it's does it big. All, you guys yes. get together. It's like Thanksgiving part yes, two, right? Yes, exactly. It's <laughs> like everything we had at Thanksgiving, because I'm cooking. Everything we had at Thanksgiving will be there for Christmas. Will be G. So it's, it's just, just like, you know. It's just, it's just number two. Yeah, maybe. and you don't think about, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have that. It's just. Uh, we'll wait for the new year to exactly you know how okay exactly. you know are you looking forward to anything this this holiday i am you know spending time with family right. you know that's always good well, i can you know. imagine you're always on your grind you're working constantly yeah. do you get a chance to see your family a lot i do maybe every couple months because okay. you know they're close they're in massachusetts okay. so i go and visit but you know i'm i always look forward to to seeing them for a little while because you know they can drive me a little crazy uh-huh. <laughs> so you gotta take a little dosage of them yeah, a little bit like, okay you can be i'm on your out <laughs> yeah exactly Okay, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to be talking more with Kat Raquel about this new EP that she has coming out, so don't go anywhere. All right, guys, we're back. Kat Raquel is still in the studio rocking it out with us today. All right, so Kat... You have two singles that came out. You have Pushin' mm-hmm. and you also have um, Living Free. free. Mm-hmm. Living Free. I, I mean, honestly, like I said earlier in the show, those two singles, they resonated something in me. It was just like, you were just speaking about everyday life. Yeah, like it was real, sure. the good, the bad, the struggle, sure. the grind. Where does some of your inspiration come from? Um, uh, life, you know what I mean? Um, for some reason with my writing, a lot of it is about um, just empowerment, you know, and the things that we all, you know, it's, it's great to turn up and go to the club. You know, we all have those moments. Um, a lot more than we should. <laughs> <laughs> so 
to help us a lot more than we should. <laughs> but we have those moments. But um, right. I don't know. It's just something within me that speaks to the struggle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's a natural thing that kind of comes through in my music. And I think people need that right now. Definitely. The world is a little crazy right now, right. you know? And I think that music is changing. I think people want messages. I think they want hope. You know what I mean? And I think they want to feel like they're not in it alone. And, and that somebody understands that's kind right. of what they're going They can through. relate. And that's you know? exactly what I see. It's kind of like you give them a little bit of real life, yeah. but you also inspire them at the same time. Yeah. Like, this is how it's going to be, and it may not be easy, right. but at the end of the day, the overall message is to rise above. That's right. It's and possible. And to keep on going. Is there any particular, like, situation that you've been in that kind of just, like, brings you back that's kind of like dang I, I went through that but sure, I'm able to like, speak on it. Sure like well so many different points in my career mm -hmm. you know what I mean because I'm still an up-and-coming artist right. you know I'm on the hustle going through different situations thinking sitting in the president's office of the record label thinking okay this is the moment mm -hmm. you know what I mean like this is the moment I've been waiting for this is it like and having somebody say you know we want to do this we want to do that and mm -hmm. thinking that this is the moment that you've been dreaming about right. you know for so long and everything just kind of change. You know, the music industry is it's a roller coaster. It really it's is. up and down, up and down, up and down. Only the strong survive for real. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you've been in it for a minute now. Yeah. I mean, you started doing songwriting, I mean, yeah. for a whole bunch of musicians. Yeah. You signed a publishing deal with BMG. Right. So how was that experience for well, you? Well, it was interesting because initially I was more just like, I want to just be an artist. You know, I wasn't really trying to write for other people. Right. And at that time, I ended up getting with a manager that was like, you know, it's another way to get your foot in the door and you can write, so why not try it? So I literally just went in and did song after song after song. He hooked me up with all these different producers mm -hmm. and I got the publishing deal with BMG, you know, and it's mm -hmm. been pretty cool. I mean, it is, it's cool because my stuff, my artist stuff, mm -hmm. it's really all about me and my perspective, you right. know what I mean? So when you go in to write for somebody, it's kind of cool to, you know, write from someone else's perspective. Okay. You know what I mean? Kind of have to put yourself in there. Yeah, because it bit. can't just be all, you know, Maybe. my stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Somebody might want a different message. Exactly. You know? so. so why don't you talk a little bit about that route? I mean, because some artists want to take the songwriting route, mm -hmm. and then there's others who just want to say, hey, I'm an artist. Like, I mm -hmm. just want to come out as an artist. Do mm -hmm. you think that it's any more difficult, or is it just different no because when once I got into the songwriting thing I realized oh this is just like trying to be an artist Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Initially, I didn't realize that until I was in it. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's still trying to get on the yeah. Rihanna record and this record and that record. Uh -huh. is, but it's just songwriters. Right. So it's just, you know, it's it's the same thing as being an artist and being on your grind and having to be in the studio and having to constantly, you know, just record and work and right. write. Right. It's the same thing. It's really about your hustle and your grind. You right. Know? So now coming out as your own individual mm -hmm. artist, even though that's kind of what you were doing anyway while you were songwriting, Mm -hmm. Is it, do you find it a little bit more challenging to kind of come, you know, from the background and, and start developing an image for yourself? Is that difficult for you? Or not no? at all. Okay. Not at all. I think the most challenging thing is the balance. Okay. You know what I mean? Because when I, when I initially started my publishing deal, it was like session after session after session after session. Mm. And, you know, my personal project was kind of on the back burner. Okay. You know, so you can kind of get swept away and caught up in that. Like, oh, well, I am Definitely. an artist. You know what I mean? Definitely. That's kind of why I'm doing this. So I think the balance is the most challenging thing. Okay. All right. Well, I mean... You're coming out with a bang. You're coming out Thank swinging. You. I mean, two singles under your belt right now. You're working on the EP. Mm -hmm. You're actually working with two pretty heavy hitting producers, if yeah. I do say so myself. You have yeah. Buddha the uh, the, Buddha the Future, Future and Grand's Music. And Grand's Music. Yeah. How is it working with those two individuals? I mean, it's great because, you know, initially when I started working with them, I got a phone call because they needed someone to write hooks. Okay. So I was like, okay, cool, you know, send over the tracks. And they did that. And their stuff is very moody, mm -hmm. you know, but it's very like hip hop at the same time. Um, and I did some tracks and we were like, wait a minute, like this is a new thing. Like we need to make these full records, mm -hmm. you know, and make these songs and do a project. So it's been really great, you know, because it's kind of like the combination. It's almost opposite, but it works okay. so well. Uh -huh. It's like a new kind of a sound a new mm -hmm. kind of a, a vibe so it's been that's really great what i love about being in the studio you never know what you can come that's up right. with you know what i'm saying but when you build that team and you guys seem 
you guys seem like you guys have a great relationship yeah, we do. in the studio. So I mean that that just works even more in your favor. Absolutely. So they're working on you on on the next project with the new right. EP coming out what? first quarter. Okay. Yeah, February first okay. quarter. We don't have a specific date, but we know it's coming. No, nope, it's coming though. It's, it's coming. been a journey, okay, but it's, it's coming. coming. <laughs> don't put a time limit on it. Just know it's. It's coming. been a journey, but it's coming. But yeah. I think that that's an important message, especially for you know the messages that you're putting behind this EP for mm -hmm. it to come out at the top of the year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kind of like start off fresh, you yes. know what I'm saying, with a new mentality. Yes. Well, we're excited for that. I mean, we're gonna take a quick break. I mean, but more with Cat Raquel when we return. You guys don't want to go anywhere, okay? We'll be right back. All right, so we're back with Cat Raquel. I mean, we're just having such a great time in the we studio are. today. I almost don't want you to leave. We can girl. stay here. We can stay. Have All some right, cocktails. so after we're done, me and her, we're just gonna chill, <laughs> sip, and talk, okay? <laughs> I mean, but uh, I just, I commend you for everything that you're doing. Thank you. I, I love the work that I feel like you're just bringing out a new sound, you know, and I feel like it's so important, especially with this generation. I mean, honestly, you, you turn into the radio, you tune in and it's, it's, it's viral music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. about feeling mm -hmm. good for the moment, but mm -hmm. I feel like you're bringing that soul, that classic feel yeah. that I think that we all need in yeah. our lives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I really do commend you for the work. And Thank I, you. I'm so looking forward for this EP. You know, it's I'm coming. your number one fan. I'm listening to that everywhere I go. Yeah. Where's that <laughs> so we wanted to do a little something with you before you, you hit the stage. Okay. Um, so we want to play a little game called This or That. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Just to tell you a little bit. So we just, I'm just going to give you uh, a few topics. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to say this or that. And you just tell me which one you prefer. You know, just okay. so we can get to know you a little bit. Okay. okay? Okay, All right, okay. you ready? Uh huh. All right, so uh, milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Milk chocolate. Uh, Drake or Meek Mills? Ooh, that's hard, <laughs> man. Are you basing this on the battle? Or are you just listen? I'm just saying. Uh, catalog. Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, winter or summer? Oh, summer. Summer. Okay. All day. Uh, let's see. Empire or power? Power. Oh yeah, power's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, cheeseburger or pizza? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Yes, with the lettuce, pickles, yeah. tomato, all that. Which okay. I never eat, but no? yeah. It'll be good, right? Um, let's see. Uh, Netflix and chill or Disney? Netflix and chill. Yes. Disney. <laughs> what? No, so Disney, Disney. Can be popping. Lion King still gets me to um, this day. Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Loving hip hop, New York. I love hip hop, LA. Oh my. New York. Did you see the episode last night? Listen, let me tell you. Wait, who's your favorite character? I love. The only reason I watched it because it's a guilty pleasure, really, is because Remy you was like on there. You reality TV. I do. Honestly, I do too. I can admit it. We can all admit <sighs> it. We need that. I was one like, God forgive. I actually text somebody <laughs> like, I'm God forgive me for watching this. But Remy, I love Remy. Remy, mom. Yeah. Honestly, I love, love her. her and Papu's relationship. Yeah. Like it's just so real. I yeah. mean, and the fact that he's willing to take it up a notch yes. for his woman. I feel like you know he's that. Thug fashion. Took her to the castle. Mm. He's exactly that. I mean, <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. I mean, Cat Rock Hill is about to be hitting the stage. Well, why don't you tell the people where they can find you at, your social media, all that good stuff. Okay, you guys can find me online um, at catrockhell.com. Um, and also on Twitter, Instagram, catrockhell.com. SoundCloud, Cat Raquel. Everything's Cat Raquel. Everything's Cat Raquel. You know where to find her, okay? That's it. All right, so you're going to be hitting the stage right now. Yes. You're going to be performing uh, one of your singles. Living Free. Living Free. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Cat Raquel is going to be hitting the stage right now, so don't go anywhere. She's coming up right now. In a world so cold. Nothing is impossible I know this right here Sun's gonna shine when the rain disappears
I'm going. I know just what I've been through. 